High CPU usage is a problem that can hit you on any operating system. Linux, Mac OS or Windows. Today we'll be focusing on detecting and fixing high CPU usage on Linux, specifically offering a bunch of tips that should help you out. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to fix high CPU usage in Linux. Is your PC freezing or have you started hearing loud CPU fan noise coming from your computer? There are many reasons for high CPU utilization in Linux, but the most common one is a misbehaving app. Here we find out how you can fix high CPU usage in Linux. Find the culprit. A misbehaving app can bring even the fastest processors to their knees. You can see the system monitor app or top in the terminal to find the problematic application. First open your terminal, type top and press enter. By default all processes are sorted according to their CPU utilization with the most CPU hungry ones at the top. If an app is always in one of the first five slots with CPU utilization rates significantly higher than the rest, you've found the culprit. Renice or kill the app. Top includes support for both renice and kill, so you can use those tools to change the priority of any process or forcefully stop it. An app's nice priority refers to the amount of CPU resources it's allowed to use compared to the other running processes. Nice accepts values from plus 19 to minus 20. The higher the number, the lower the priority. In top, press R and enter the problematic app's PID. Try changing it to a plus 5 value and if that doesn't help, retry with plus 10, plus 15 and finally the lowest possible priority, plus 19. If the app is unresponsive, you should just stop it immediately. Press K while in top and enter the PID, press enter and the app will be gone. Update everything. If the problem persists every time you run the app, updating the app may fix the issue. To do that, in your terminal enter sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt minus y upgrade. That's updating and upgrading all in the same sentence. After that, try running the problematic application again. Remove and reinstall the app. If the problem isn't fixed, there's a slight chance it appears because of a wrong parameter in the program's configuration. Resetting it to its original state may help. First, back up your configuration in case it wasn't the cause of the problem and you decide to restore it in the future. Then purge the problematic app with sudo apt purge and then the app name. To reinstall the app, use sudo apt update and then sudo apt install and then the app name. This will reset the app to its original state. Revert to the previous version. If upgrading the app didn't solve the problem, you can revert to the previous version instead. You can try downgrading or using an older version, at least until the developer has fixed the bugs in the current app. To downgrade your app, first check out the available versions by running your terminal and issuing the following commands. sudo apt policy and then the app name. Your currently installed version will have three asterisks next to it. Take note of the other available versions. To install the older version, Use the command sudo apt install app name equals version. Use alternative app. The good thing about Linux is that there are many, many apps that can do the same thing. If one app is causing the high CPU usage, you can and should replace it with an alternative. Fixes for core apps causing high CPU usage. What happens if what's eating up your CPU is a core app like SystemMD or Xorg? For SystemMD, try disabling non-essential features and secondary devices on your computer such as joypads and printers. If the device is a joypad, mouse or keyboard and you're running Ubuntu or a compatible distribution, type X input into your terminal and see all such connected devices. To disable one of them, use X input dash dash disable and then the device ID, like so. To re-enable the device, Swap disable with enable in the X input command, like so. For other devices, the solution is somewhat more complicated. First, you have to enter lsmod in your terminal and press enter to see all the drivers your Linux kernel loads as modules. Find the one for the offending device and note down its name and then enter the following. sudo nano 
slash etc slash modprobe.d slash blacklist.conf. The document you just opened is a blacklist of modules that shouldn't load during boot. It will probably already be populated with some entries. Move to the end of the file and follow the same syntax to add your module to this list. Your entry should look like this. Blacklist and then the module name. Save the file, reboot and hopefully everything will now work OK. For Xorg, try disabling your window manager's compositor. Although officially the compositor offloads CPU related tasks to the GPU, that's not always the case. Sometimes by enabling compositing support, you're also enabling many demanding effects. Sometimes the GPU's drivers can cause high CPU usage too. Xorg didn't really get along with specific versions of NVIDIA or AMD's drivers. The solution is upgrading or downgrading to a different version. Alternatively, you can of course try open source versions of your GPU's drivers. Still, those don't share the same exact feature set and may lack some functionality that perhaps you rely on. Swap your kernel. It's rare for the Linux kernel to be the reason for high CPU utilization. Still, if you're reaching this point with no solution in sight, you won't lose anything by trying a different one. As stated on its official site, to install the popular Liquorix kernel in Ubuntu, visit your terminal and type sudo apt repository ppa colon dements slash Liquorix ampersand ampersand sudo apt get update. This will add its repository to Ubuntu sources. Then to bring the kernel itself on board, use sudo apt-get install linux-image-licorix-amd64 linux-headers-licorix-amd64. Reboot then to enable your new kernel and hopefully your CPU utilization will be back to normal levels. I hope one of those solutions work for you. If not, you can also try to manually assign CPU core for applications with task set link in the description. And lastly, maybe it's time to reinstall your OS from scratch or jump to a different distribution. That's entirely up to you. And we have many links to that in our channel. OK, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.